These are the tools and materials we're going to use to tie the Jolly Green Midge. The hook is a Timco 2487. You could use a 2488 just as easily. So size 16. The beads are tungsten beads in black nickel color. They're Wapsi and 564th in diameter. The black thread is Gouda Broad. 10 aught. The white thread is Montana Fly, 8 aught. The abdomen is tied out of a thin skin material. The way you prepare that is to just use a craft knife and a ruler and put it over something you don't mind cutting into and just cut a very thin strip, probably something like a 330 seconds, but it doesn't have to be exactly that. Then we've got a black hen neck, a right bobbin. I really like the right bobbins. I use two of them to tie this fly. Scissors, hackle tweezers, craft knife, whip finisher. Now let's tie the fly. Okay, go ahead and put the bead on. Make sure that you've got the bead on properly. You want the cave, concave back of the bead to be towards the hook point. Right now, uh, I'm just trying to make sure that there's a little bit of taper in the underbody. I don't want it to be just flat. Doesn't show up that much, but I think it shows up slightly at least in the finished abdomen. Thin skin, make sure you cut it to a point so you can tie it in easily. I'm using white thread here because if you use the black, it just totally uh, covers the green in, in the thin skin. I wanted this to be more of a green fly. You know, it is the jolly green. So make sure when you wrap that on that you're stretching it a little bit. Uh, that way it, it covers the, the hook shank a little bit better, and I think it looks nicer. And when you cut it, make sure you stretch it. Boom. That way it kind of slides back underneath a little bit. Go ahead and whip finish. Move the bead back, give yourself a room for the hackle. You gotta really be careful about how you orient the, uh, the eye of the hook. You don't want to, everything to slip off if it's headed downwards. Go ahead and start the thread, move it back to the bead. And prepare the hackle. Sort of the chore getting it in there sometimes. Just the way you want it. Now you want to make sure that you tie in the hackle so that the concave side goes towards the bend of the hook. And you start out lightly and then at the end you tighten it pretty well so that the hackle stem doesn't just slip out of there. Go ahead and wrap the hackle.
and spin the thread so that it's a it's a cord it's round that way when you wrap the thread back through the hackle you don't have any flat spots it goes down further into the into the hackle I use a craft knife a lot just because the only thing that gets cut is the thing that has tension on it. If you stick your scissors in there, you have a good chance of cutting off some of the hackle. Now go ahead and make sure that you've got the hackle out of the way of the eye. Give it a wet finish. Cut the thread, pretty it up a little bit, and that's your jolly green midge.